Hi everyone, welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. This is Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. We're working on another Quilt of Valor. I love the Quilts of Valor. Um, they give me lots of stuff to work with and uh, play around and have some fun. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm doing. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Working on another Quilts of Valor here. I've done the design in the center block. Uh, it's called Ribbons, so I've called this quilt Ribbons and Me. So it's going to be, obviously, Ribbons and Me. So I've, um, Jamie, I think his name is Wallen, Walden? Anyways, he's a, a quilter's apothecary. I was watching one of his videos earlier today about how to do like this little question mark swirl and back and forth, and I really liked it. So I'm going to add that to this quilt to kind of match the whole ribbon theme. So because they're, the squares are nice and um, like the same size, they're all three inches and a bit, so I thought that would be a nice extension up from the pattern to the edge of the border to make sure that all my little designs are similar in shape and size. I don't want anything too crazy, right? So I just kind of marked a little few spaces with my ruler here. This is a cutting ruler, not a long arm ruler. Just so you know. <laughs> does not do both jobs. Okay, so I'm going to just do across the top here, and that'll pretty much be our Long Arm Wednesday show. Like I say, make any comments if you have any things you want to see or want to do, or want to see me do a, just a completely custom quilt. I'm up for the challenge. Send it to me. I'll quilt it. All right, a few more little spaces here. Go on this side. My little nubby of a pencil here. I thought I had a pencil sharpener, but I think I have lost it. Okay, old school. Come on, whittler. Do do do. Whittle, 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 whittle. All right, that should give me enough juju to get me through. Like, it doesn't have to be like bang on. I just want to make sure that the, the same shape is similar within there. I, obviously it's me quilting it so it's not going to be computer precise. But I just want them to kind of be very similar in shape and size. Because I do want the veteran who gets this quilt to be very proud and happy. That someone took the time to quilt it out. So I'm just going to leave it all the way. I'll probably do like a little tail off to the side here, but we'll just continue on with those. Okay, move this out of the way. I got my clamps on. I'm all tightened and ready to rock and roll, I think. Am I good? I'm good. Bouncy to bounce, bounce. Okay, now I had a little practice piece over here. I just want to do that one more time here because I was just doing squirrels. I was checking my tension. I was out visiting another long armor today, Judy, and um, she just kind of gave me a couple of little, little tips, and I really appreciate it. And I just want to make sure everything's working. Okay, looks like we're good. Proper tension is important. I think I've got it. All right. So, because this is, uh, I've got it on the, the lengthwise this way, so I'm going to just start right at this seam part here where the block ends, or where the block begins, and go to the next section and then work this on the other side. I'll take off the quilt, flip it, and do it again because that's the way I'm doing the, 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 the design. All right. So, here we go. Wish us luck. If I don't like it, I'll stop and we'll be doing a different design. <laughs> okay. Getting ready for getting ready for the races. Okay, now.
Whoops. Okay, see, I already made a mistake. It didn't flow with what I was doing. I should have come up from the inside, hugged this one up, and went there to there. So, argy. I was thinking ahead, and I shouldn't have been. Okay, so that's a quick little rip out. Shouldn't take too long here. Sorry for the delay. I have to go around my whole table just to find my seam ripper. And I probably can't do that with it. Just can't even find it there. Right. Sorry about that. Just goes to show you that not perfect. Getting ahead of the game. Should have just been thinking about each square at a time. We play this, it's called the rip it game. Rip it, rip it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave off there, get the bobbiny up. Did I? For some reason that looked green. Oh no, it's not. I thought, do I have the wrong bobbin in? After all that, are you kidding me? <laughs> I shoot myself in the nose. Kidding, of course. I'm not that serious. <laughs> okay, so a little stitch, bring the bobbin up. Okay, stitch, stitch, and go again. So into the hook, and then back around, up, copy, and then. see if we can't mess this up one more time here. Hook, follow it, bounce. There we go. Oops. That seems to have a thread break. It's just a good long arm Wednesday today. Good long arm Wednesday every day. No big deal. He'll just fix his little red wagon. Because I just assume everybody in the whole planet has a little red wagon and needs fixing. <laughs> Eventually at some point in time in their life. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, the bobbin didn't get snapped, so I just want to make sure I bring that up to the top. Okay. Another stitchity stitchy maru, and hopefully I can bounce back in, and there we go. And follow. And then I'm just going to do this around the whole quilt in this um, gray border part in between the blocks and all the way around outside on the border. The sashing blocks, I'm sorry. I do know what I'm saying. It just comes out wrong sometimes. I apologize. And if you really, really want, you can just trace this all, all everything that you got to do out in chalk. You know, if you really want to make sure everything is consistent and nothing is different. But I like the little bit of flair that you can put in. You know, it's your, it's yours, right? You're owning it. It's like your own unique handwriting. This, 
And then I'm just going to bounce this way out to there. And then I'll make sure that I'll link it up between the two sides, that it'll all be nice and smooth. So that's our little long arm Wednesday. Kind of got a little bigger as I went along, but not too bad. I think this one's a little small here. I may come back and pick that one out and do it again. But that's just all of having fun, claiming it and making it your own and giving it your own style. So thanks, everybody, for sticking with me for this long arm Wednesday. I'm just going to plug away, keep at it, and have some fun. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to win something pretty cool, you got to watch the weekend project all the way to the end, or you don't get it. Got it. See you soon. Bye-bye.